Oh, we cut to the air. We start off right in the air, I guess. I'm doing my intro now. Hello everybody, welcome back to Osra's Wrath. Today, we're gonna be completing episode 14, Gods and Men. We're playing as Yasha again, and we're gonna be saving a city. Or a castle, I guess. Oh, it's a village. Well, what do you propose we do? The seven deities, Sergei. <laughs> but can't you just let me save it? I want to save the village. I don't want all of them to die. Those are a lot of, a lot of goma, and a big fish. Oh, great. Elephants and turtles. And a whole bunch of gorillas. Oh, and rhinos. Fun. Well, well, well. Here they come. Oh, disgusting. Will you help me fight, or am I gonna do it on my own? Or perhaps you would like to exterminate them before they reach the village? Will you help me? I had planned on it. Guess not. He has that crazy look in his eyes. I don't really like it. But it's not as bad as Kalro though. Oh! Time to go! Skydiving! A recall to episode 1, but this time as Yasha instead of Asra. Ow. Don't fly into me, idiots. Can't you see me skydiving here? Oh, big fish. This is so relaxing, weirdly enough. Can you please? Let me dive in peace. Well, actually, he is. Why am I attacking him? Oh, that's why. See? That's why I was uh, fighting him. Because he won't let me skydive in peace. Oh, hi. Unlimited mode. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. No, stop it. Are you nearly dead yet? Oh, burst. Am I going to cut his head off? Oh, what am I doing? I'm even cutting his stomach open. Oh. Guess that works. That's... Blown out ass. <laughs> he just took a... He just took a giant, giant dump. And because of it, three-fourths of the Karma Fortress's mantra have been consumed. Oh. Nice. Two hours earlier, Shinkoku, the Imperial... That something. That is everything I witnessed. I see. Yes. I... Why do you hesitate? <laughs> he, he asked that question himself, too. In all these years, I have believed in the cause. But Asura's mantra has proven powerful enough to rival that of our own. That of the Brahmastra. <laughs> After the blast, we lost track of his whereabouts. We do not know when he might attack again. Lord Deus. Great. <laughs> wow. Lord Deus, I have a report to make. I used the Brahmastra on Asura. Yes, I already know. You were dismissed. Haha. <laughs> but my lord, Yasha tried. Dismissed. <laughs> Whoa, Kate. There, so you're about to kill her? Please do. Lord Deus. Olga, must I repeat myself? Ooh. Careful. Careful what you wish for. My lord, forgive me. Yeah, it's too late for forgiveness. Ouch. You better stay there. For a short while. 
Or not. Yeah, sure. Get back up immediately. Uh, by the way, you're dismissed. Get out. In case you didn't realize. I'm having a private conversation with my mentor here. Yeah, sure. Sir. Power without a purpose is meaningless and worthless. A purpose that is firm can change the impossible. Well, what purpose? Yes, sir. Uh huh. All right. Sure. Then we understand what we must do. Kill innocent people? <coughs> I'm not I really. I don't really agree with that last part, but. Sure, I guess. Well, that was quite entertaining. Where the hell did you come from? I didn't I notice you at first. So dedicated to the cause, so earnest in our fight to save the world. There is nothing more beautiful than fighting for this cause. Uh huh. Sergey, I want you to bring Yasha with you on the next extermination. Extermination. Maybe. <laughs> Report. Large mass of Goma confirmed. <clears throat> they are headed for a city in the vicinity of Shinto. Goma contamination imminent. Requesting permission for immediate purification. Ah, a purification. How beautiful. How's a purification beautiful? Come along now, Yasha. <laughs> right. Well, let's go then. He has that crazy look in his eyes. I don't like it. Oh, right. Back to the present. Elephants! Turtles! Gor gorillas! I'm gonna kill all of them. Because animal cruelty. It's a bad thing. But if they're evil... They're not really animals. They're just... Evil thingies. Because they disappear. And I don't remember animals disappearing if they die. Also, I got eaten by that thing. And I blew his ass out. I think he, he ate too much Taco Bell last night. Either that or Yasha ate a lot of Taco Bell and she just gave the diarrhea to that fish. Filthy beasts! Now you hear that? You guys are gonna die. Stop it! Oh, I can already burst. That was really fast. I'm cutting you not in half, but I'm sending you away. Wait, that was one chop? Nice. Hey! Go away! Who's next? You! I'm just gonna, you know... Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, you're not keeping up with me, I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, big turtle, huh? No, you're not eating me. Stop it. Bye. Haha. -ha. Right into your face. Wait, you're dead? Too many of them. This right. Well, don't worry, they're focusing on you. Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. That's too far. Who wrote the co coordinates for those lasers? They went way off course. You idiot. You're an actual idiot. The Septentrion Mizar. Oh, Yasha's getting angry. Oh, hi. Why do you have that innocent lady? What are you gonna do? Wait, you can... God. 
You can just take their souls with your hands. I guess that works. Uh, Nappa! Copyright infringement! Isn't that his attack? Nappa, you can sue this guy! Maybe? I don't know. You you blow up place. You blow up the place. Sergei, just take their souls. With a weird expression on his face. Sure, bro. Before the mortals are devoured by the Goma, we purify their souls and turn them into our power. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is nothing. <clears throat> it's the same thing you've been doing for the past twelve thousand years. You just fought a meaningless battle. <laughs> How ugly. One way or another. <sighs> Am I fighting you now? The Goma's behavior has been more arrested for me. Guess that's true. That is to say, Litter's return is approaching. <sighs> that's not good. You remember what our duty is, do you not? I do remember, but you just used the Brahmastra on Astra even though you know the Litter is returning. And you used three fourths of all the mantra. <sighs> you guys are such morons. Funny, huh? I think that's less funny. And this is the least funny of them all. He didn't think it was funny at all. You killed my wife! Ouch. You'd think he'd be dead by now. By the way, I was talking about Sergei, not about Astra. <laughs> he is very angry. Yeah, to be continued in episode 15. Also one of my most favorite ones. Well, rather, I call a lot of them one of my favorite ones, but I'd rather say one of the better ones. Episode 12 is by far my favorite. And the rest are just better ones, and then you have filler. You know, like this episode. Well, rather, episodes like episode 8. No. I mean, they're all part of the story, but some are better than others. Yeah, huh? Triple S rank. Which is nice, I guess. In a way, episode 15. In the next episode. But first, a little interlude. Report of Oswald's movement. Search troop captain... Upala's log. This mission to find traces of Astra's movement has proven very, very challenging. The blast from the Brahmastra has set the has set the land ablaze, which still continues, erasing any tracks Astra had left behind. Despite this, we carried on with our mission in search of whatever we could find. Fortunately, we were able to find some footprints on the snowfield quite far from Ground Zero. We followed them immediately. After a while, in the distance, we discovered one of one of our fleets in mid battle with the Impure. That is when it appeared. It. A scorched black suit covered body with a rage glowing in its eyes. By the time we realized it was the fallen one, the battle had already begun. Watching from afar, neither our fellow soldiers nor the Goma were any match for him. Terrified by what was happening before our, before our eyes, we could do nothing but hide and shiver with fear. After the fallen one had annihilated them all, he roared out towards the heavens, as if he were calling out to someone. He is, though. After that, I continued to pursue Asra. Just me on my own. My troops were all dead. My men were horrified and ran away. They died. They did. They, they weren't horrified and ran away. That's just, that's just sugarcoating it. But by that time, I did not care. Asra ran onward and encountered more Shinkoku soldiers and Goma, which he ripped to shreds in an instant. Interestingly enough, he had no eyes for civilian demigods or humans and left them alone. At the moment, Asha's headed toward the area where Lord Sergei, Sergei and Lord Yasha are conducting a purification. What is he? What is he trying to do? The sound of his raucous cry still rings in my ears. I must know what it all means. I think you'll be dead by that Lost time. Lost in rage, Asura rips Sergei in two. He 
His anger is so terrible that it scalds his own body. My mask broke Having because of you. Sense and reason. Asa returns to Yasha with fire in his eyes. Well, let's fight then. But I'll leave that for the next episode, episode 15. So, next time when we come back to Asra's Wrath, we're gonna be completing episode 15, A New Cause. But I will see you guys then.